We are here with Nelly Trent Clark, the Permanent Secretary of Housing, Informal Settlements, Land and Surveys and Physical Planning of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. P.S. Nelly Clark, welcome to the 27th Annual Meeting of Ministers of Urban Development and Housing in Argentina. Thank Minerva. you very much. Yes. Good to be here. Thank you. And we are pleased to have you. Our first question is, what are the major challenges in urban development and housing in St. Vincent? Well, we currently do not have a housing policy and I should say that lends itself to a multiplicity of other issues. We are currently working on a draft document um, and the intention is to provide a policy document that is currently before the Attorney General's office. The intention is um, after it has passed Perusa by the Attorney General, we take it to Cabinet and um, be guided by you know, policy documents. Um, with regard to urban development, we do not have um, an urban development policy either, but we do have a project that is ongoing from CDB funding where we are trying to um, do an urban study um, for the city. Um, I think we have some um, development, like the port infrastructure. Mm. So we, we plan to include you know, the, the study that would cover the ur urban service, urban Kingston. So hopefully that would set a precedent for what should happen in other, in other towns in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Excellent. So it shows that the government is, is taking steps to address urban and housing. And what do you think is the benefit of meetings such as Minervi? Well, I am really happy to be here because, um, first of all, in our Caribbean context, we had a meeting exclusively with Caribbean countries, and I realized, you know, we're all in the same space and we had similar problems. But on the larger front, you know, it was really great hearing from other countries, you know, larger developed countries like Argentina, and um, who has, you know, housing policy documents, and you're able to. Um, see firsthand how to apply this knowledge, you know, they're amalgamated, all the players, key players, so you're able to see clearly um, how having a housing policy and using best practices can help to, you know, avoid risk, mitigate against risk, and it would be, well, you know, something that we would look forward to in cooperating and implementing in our context.